Okay, third grade, guess what? Last cursive letter. Are you ready? Today we're going to be talking about the capital letter B, and they save the best for last, so be ready. First, you are going to need a pencil. Make sure you have a pencil. If you want to use the grip, you may. It is not necessary. Find your packet. Find the letter B. And here we go. Now, remember I said they save, save the best for last. This is kind of a tough letter. First thing I'm going to do on my letter B page is I'm going to get up there. I'm going to get my name on there so I know who this belongs to. Okay. And now I'm going to come down here and look at my tongue twister today. Baboons carry food in their cheeks. Okay. I would like you to circle any letter Bs you see, whether it is manuscript or cursive. See what you can find. Hmm, me looking, I saw a capital B in baboons in manuscript and a lowercase b, and that looks like it. In the cursive, same letter, capital B, lowercase. All right, let's begin. First, I want you to put your pencil down. Put it down because I want you to look and listen before you start trying this letter. So put your pencil down. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to try this a couple of times, and then you'll practice it with me. This is a capital B, so it is going to take up the whole line from the headline to the baseline through the middle line. When we start our letter B, it is just like the capital P and the capital R. I'm going to start at the midline and I'm going to do an undercurve to the headline. Then I'm going to slant to the baseline. I am going to retrace my slant back up, curving forward, touching the headline, Curving toward the midline, loop forward at the midline, continue curving down toward the baseline, touch the baseline, come back and touch my slant, and curve in. Okay, I'm going to do that one more time. Watch carefully. Starting at the midline, under curve to the headline, slant to the baseline, just like the capital P and the capital R. Retrace your slant towards the headline, curving forward, touch the headline. Curve down toward the midline, loop forward at the midline, curve down toward the baseline, touch it, come back and touch your slant, and in. Okay, grab your pencil. Let's try this. I'm going to try it a couple times with you. First one, starting at the midline. Here we go. Under curve, slant to the baseline, retrace your slant, go up, touch the headline, curve forward, loop forward at the midline, Curve forward, touch the baseline, touch your slant, in. Let's try it one more time on the big letter. Starting at the midline, under curve to the headline, slant, retrace your slant back up to the headline, curve forward, loop forward at the midline, curve forward to the baseline, touch it, touch your slant, in. Okay, let's try and trace and write some of these. Let's start tracing first, under curve, Slant, retrace your slant up, curve forward, midline, loop forward, curve forward, touch the baseline, touch your slant in. Try another one. Under curve, slant, retrace your slant up to the headline, loop forward, curve forward, curve down to the baseline, touch your slant in. Let's try another one. Under curve to the headline. Slant to the baseline, retrace your slant up, touch the headline, curve forward, loop forward at the midline, curve forward, touch the baseline, touch your slant, in. Under curve, slant, retrace, curve forward, loop at the midline, curve forward again, go back, touch your slant, and in. And our last trace, under curve, slant, retrace. Loop at the midline, slant down or curve down, touch your slant and in. Okay, let's practice writing some down below. Under curve, starting at the midline, slant to the baseline. Retrace your slant up, curve forward. Loop when you get to the midline, curve forward, touch the baseline, touch your slant in. Let's try another one. Under curve, slant, retrace your slant up. Curve forward, loop at the midline, curve forward, touch the baseline and your slant in. Under curve, slant, retrace it, touch the headline, loop at the midline, curve forward again, touch the baseline, touch your slant in. 
under curve, slant, retrace, touch the headline, curve forward, loop at the midline, curve forward, touch your baseline, touch your slant, in. And the last trace or last practice, slant, retrace, curve forward, touch your headline, loop forward at the midline, curve forward, touch your baseline, bring your slant in. Okay, those are kind of tough. Let's go ahead and look at our second part here. It says B is not joined to the letter that follows. So you're gonna pick up your pencil before you write the rest of the word. Write the words that begin with B. Let's trace these together. I'm gonna to start with the word Badlands. Here we go. Under curve, slant, retrace, curve forward, loop the midline, curve forward, touch the baseline, slant in, and the A, you picked up your pencil, over and back on the D, and the L, over and back on the A, curve forward, slant, curve forward, slant, over and back on the B, and there we have Badlands. Let's try Beijing. Now, remember, we're gonna finish the whole word before we do our dots. Let's start with the letter B. Under curve, slant, retrace it, curve forward, loop forward at the midline, curve forward, touch your slant, and lift your pencil. Curve, under curve, slant, under curve, slant, loop forward, under curve, over curve, over curve, slant, over and back on the G, and under curve now, starting on the left, dot, dot, dot. That keeps you going towards your next word. Okay, let's start with Brett. Under curve, slant, curve forward, loop at the midline, touch your, your slant and in, pick up your pencil, over and then E. Under curve, slant, under curve, slant, under curve and starting at the left, cross, cross. Okay, I am gonna have you stop there for a second. You can come back later and finish writing your words. I would like to practice the sentence with you. Let's go ahead and look at our sentence today. Baboons, baby baboons need care. Ooh, I see a lot of check strokes in this one. And I see some Bs. Be careful to make your letter Bs look like a B, not an L. Let's start with the word baby. Under curve, slant, retrace, curl forward, touch the baseline, slant in, pick up your pencil. And here we go on the A. Here's my first B check stroke into the Y. Make sure it looks like a check stroke, not an L. Okay, let's try the letter B in baboon. Make sure you put your check stroke so it doesn't look like an L. Over and back on the A, another B. Check stroke over back on the O. Check stroke over back on the O. Be careful with those O's. Okay, there's baboons. Need care. Here we go, back, back, and then over and back on the D. And our last word, care, over and back on the A. And there we go, and a dot. I'm gonna let you come back later and write your sentence. The last part of your page today is you need to write a sentence about baboons. Now I noticed up here it said something about baboons carry food in their cheeks, you might write a sentence about that. Or I also know, here's a word you might use, they live in the jungle. You might use this word in your sentence, jungle. Let's make sure that L looks like an L and dot. Um, I also know that they live as a family. You may write about baboons living as a family. Okay. Very good, so there's just a couple words you might choose to put in your sentences. Okay, third graders, give yourselves a pat on the back. You have finished all of your cursive letters. Good job, have a great day today.